Oh my oh, God, yeah. you're so much better than that no, mom. No, but I'm totally like that. Hey, <laughs> let's have a good time. <laughs> no, uh, he's hot though. And he's, yeah. I, you know what I want? I want that bulletproof vest that says writer. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. But we'll the, see if we can get you on. You, there you go. But the truth is I do a lot of research and I will go and hang down with various police departments and they're terrific to me and they give me tons of time. But at the end, you have to go home and apply your butt to chair and he doesn't do enough of that. Yeah, we have you yet know? to see that part. He's, yeah, that's he, boring. It's a lot of research. Well, you know, he's a fictional character, obviously. Right. But how much research, you said you have a year um, that you spend and devote to writing the book, but how much of that time is spent to researching the character or the plot or, or the, the logistics of a, of a situation? You know, I do it as I go. So it's sort of like, uh-oh, I'm at a scene in a newsroom now. I've been, you know, this, this book is set, she's a reporter. So I sort of assimilate that kind of, wow, what's it feel like? What, what do reporters do? How do they talk? What do they say? What do they carry? What's their slang? Where do they hang out? Answer the ladies' room. Because everybody hangs in the ladies' room. Anybody you want to know hangs in the ladies' room. All the slang starts with the, the letter F. Yeah. Sadly, and we use none of that in this book. No, you don't. Aren't I so good? This is, this good? is a PG book, oh. I'm telling you. There's, I've learned my lesson. Although there's always the requisite hot sex scene, right? I write it from memory. <laughs> okay. Listen, we are having a great conversation here with Lisa Scottolini, who's newest book is called Look Again. Naturally, it's on the New York Times bestseller list, which is where her books end up. But if you'd like to question her or comment her, you can email us. My address is tcn underscore iyc at cable.comcast.com. Now, here it is. If you have questions for her or you have comments about her book, go ahead and send them to us. We'll make sure that she gets them. I'm sure that she'll reply to you. If you have a favorite Scottolini book or a character that you really like or you'd like to see more of, you can go ahead and ask us those questions as well. And if you're cur curious, like I am, about about where these ideas for a novel originate, or perhaps you have a suggestion, we invite you to go ahead and email us as well. Now, of course, you know that I am on Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube, and we have some questions from our Facebook friends if Lisa is game. Sure, are you okay. game? Okay. I, I'm on right, Facebook I'm, too. I'm, I know, yeah, you and I are friends. Girl. Everybody keeps saying that to me. I'm not Twittering yet. We have to yet. tweet. Okay. I'll tweet, <laughs> to you. tweet All right, I'm just, I, I put it on here that um, I am interviewing Lisa Scottolini, best-selling author, right now. What do you want me to ask her? And this is what someone says. Dave has written and says, my wife and I will go to see her on her book tour. Ask her if she'll be wearing one of her new pair of jeans that she talked about <laughs> oh, in Chickwood. <laughs> All right, girl, Explain this. <laughs> <You're funny. laughs> well, you know, I mean, you know, everybody says bathing suit, buying bathing suits is, is hell, but yes. buying jeans is a, is a different level. Second, of yeah, the second oh, tier of hell. Right, right. And I wrote about that. Of course, also buying Spanx, which should be burned. Like we should make a big pile of Spanx and just set them on fire. I'm like. Wait, I'm old enough to know that's a girdle. I don't care what you call it, and I'm not putting it on. It can't even get that's it on anyway. Lipstick on a pig <laughs> comes to mind, okay? Exactly. Right. Nothing political here, just lipstick on a pig, trying to put on those stupid well, spanks. No, but, so you know, wrote about the jeans. I wrote about the jeans and how difficult it was. Because you know what? They said to me, these are boyfriend jeans. I'm like, I don't have a boyfriend. And these are mom jeans. And I'm trying. How do you get a boyfriend if you have the mom jeans? So I'm like, I was like, I fell in between the jean wasteland. Yeah. So these were a present, actually. Well, they, I was just going to say, Thank you guys can you. see, but these jeans look mighty fine. Thank you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mentioned Chicklet, and that's a column that you write for the Philadelphia Inquirer. Right. So where did that come from? Where do you have time to do that? I love to do it. I, they actually, a couple of years, said, can we excerpt one of your novels? And I was like, well, thank you, because I love the newspaper, and I'm honored to be in it. But I said, you know what you need? You need some comic relief in the news. And I know you can't manufacture that, but I can. Because you know what also I missed Irma Bombeck. Yeah. Ellen, you know, wow, good old Irma. Good old Irma. And so this let's write some, let me write some fun stuff that's about your life, your kid, your mom, you know, how I can't do liquid eyeliner. You know, all the dopey <laughs> stuff that, that people can relate to. You get to a point when you have to wear your glasses and then you're like, how do I put my makeup on? I because know. Like, you so buy one of those fair. magnifying glasses. That's the secret. I have. Or go out to my car, which has a great line. <laughs> I'm not putting my makeup on in the car yet. Oh, I do. I did today. It's Listen, great. we have to take a quick break, but we're going to have more with Lisa in just a second. If you'd like to join in, you can email us at that address on the bottom of the screen or you can find us on Facebook. We'll be right back. Lynn Doyle's jewelry provided by David Craig Diamonds and Fine Jewelry, Newtown, Pennsylvania.